welcome back to Savetic youtube channel yeah following the previous video that we released about how you can be able to install qgis here follows the next where we're going to talk about um, the few the basics of qgis as far as um, the software is concerned mainly the graphical user interface we are going to talk about that its capabilities so here is a list of the th a few things that we are going to talk about in this video introduction to QGIS uh, its capabilities what can it be able to do we have the basics of the GUI how does it look like what does this mean and the types of data that it that can be used within the software so <coughs> sorry without um, any delay, QGIS uh, software, QGIS stands for Quantum GIS, so like other GIS software um, that include ArcGIS, Redis Imagine, um, AMV, Idris software, all those that can be able to deal with spatial data and uh, the satellite image array or remote sensing data QGIS can be able to do a lot for you if you invest your time in learning and understanding how it really works so QGIS has a software um, it can be able to do a certain aspects in addition to what other softwares can do the good thing with it is that uh, it can be manipulated you can be able to change functionalities within it but uh, that needs a technical bit a coding bit of it you need to be knowing some kind of programming like python to create some new tools but um so it is that QGIS is user friendly so you can easily cope up with it you can easily understand uh, how various functionalities and tools work besides other softwares which are kind of complex so QGIS is um, it is an open source software which means it is freely available to their to all users and its source code can easily be obtained manipulated yeah like I've told you so but that is not the case with other commercial softwares this is not a commercial software commercial softwares include the other software that i talked about of reader's margin to be able to use it and get the license you have to buy software arcgis likewise but of course you know there is always a second option in life so but those other softwares you can be able to use them minus paying them but that does not make them non-commercial they are commercial but of course they can be cracked without dropping any coin you can crack them and be able to use them fully so uh let's for that uh, for introduction i think we can go with that then the capabilities of gi software like other gi softwares QGIS can be able to store data, it can be able to capture data through digitization, you can digitize or vectorize uh, data sets, you can be able to get uh, maybe linear features like loads, you can be able to digitize and get out buildings, yeah like that, so you can, you can be able to capture data using this kind of software. Then another thing, you can be able to query out certain features let's say you want um if you have kind of a data set or let's say shape file with various districts but you want to know which district which okay like which districts have an area of maybe greater than 500 square miles you can perform a query that can be able to retrieve and select those features basing on the criteria or basing on the rule basing on the on your what on your design on your on the kind of operation that you want to do so 
it can be able to query out data another thing we can be able to analyze data you can you can add data inside the QGIS software and perform manipulations on it whereby you can be able to, to perform certain kind of analysis that lead you to decision making um, and the solution that I can give on that you can be able to perform uh, someone maybe you can be wanting to open up a shop but you want to find you want first to do some kind of a study you want to know a suitable location where you can be able to place your shop basing on variety and uh, various um, criteria whereby you can be looking at the competition that is where are other shops what is the location of the potential customers the distance from what distance is it going to be from my customers which kind of people stay around is it a residential area is it a commercial area all that you can be able to merge up all those data sets and come up with just a single particular tool which is a map that can be able to communicate the best location and that can be possible within QGI software and uh, of course it can be able to it can help you visualize your data that is obvious another thing it can output information in form of in various forms it can be a map yeah so let's talk about the basics of the GUI now let's go to the software so, so in this case I believe you've opened your software so mine is here so far but let's first remove everything so that we start from scratch and uh, we learn so here we have various sections which are six we have six sections here within a GUI of um, in the, by we I mean the graphical user interface of this kind of software so one I'm going to show you how this is possible this I'm going to label the all of six one is here that is called the menu bar this has do you see this project edit view layer all those those are tools that have other functionalities down in this case when I click on layers you see it has other features done add layer so these are tools which have which can perform various functions so this is the upper thing this upper section is for the menu bar and now we proceed to the next which is going to be the tool this is the toolbar these are various tools that we can be able to use um, to visualize improve on our visualization bit of our data and this can be in this kind of format this is zoom in zoom out when I add here a map I can be able to zoom in and out yeah and uh, another thing is um, we have here what we call the browser panel the browser panel I can be able to browse and get a certain directory or a certain folder where i have my data then i bring it into the software uh, besides that we have another section which is uh, which is called the layers panel now the layers panel is where in case i bring we are going to show something here in case i bring my layers or in case i add data within this software you can you can be able to see the data sets within this section that's where they are added now from that we have another another section which is now here it is called the status bar status bar we have these are that's the coordinate section scale magnifier rotation render and this which uh, stands for this is for coordinate reference system so now here as we we move as I move my cursor around you see the coordinates change so what does that imply it implies that each and every point that I go to has a particular pair of coordinate so but this very of course you can here we can be able to see the degrees uh, as in latitudes and longitudes you can be able to see 
uh, is thing knowing but that depends all on your concept of um, the projections that you use and as far as the coordinates reference systems that you select to use within your data sets so yeah that is it then for scale scale um what you are going to see with scale see it doesn't change as i move but for scale to change it is like matter of zooming in and out hmm? zooming in and out so let's say maybe you see when i do this you see scale changes I'm meaning that i'm zooming what out the scale changes yeah the then this this is a code this is a code for e arc 1960 tm036 north yeah you can do the cheat there when i click on it it shows you that and if i put a, a code here of 4326 is this 4326 that is uh i read you say the 4 4326 you see is here so yeah this kind of this section here shows the coordinate reference system um so another section that you're going to look at is this this is this the sixth this is the map view map view when you add your data within this kind of software it can be able to depict here you can visualize your data from here so by that um, let me give you an example here let me just add something in our software and you see yeah you see what i'm talking about yeah this is where we visualize from so as i move you can be able to see that coordinates are changing and these coordinates these are latitudes and longitudes and if i zoom out scale changes you get yeah so this guy that is it and this is the layers panel this is the data set that i have added which is showing up here so i can be able to switch it off and on off and on so that that can help you in a way that if you have various data sets you can be able to switch off some and work with others yeah so this guy that is that is it so let's talk about um let's talk about the types of data that are used within this kind of software so this kind of software you see this this data set that i've added is a vector data set what do i mean by vector data set a vector data set is the kind of data representation uh it is a representation whereby uh, data in the real world phenomena is represented by a series of points lines and polygons and the line uh, i can say a line i can call it a road in this case so you're going to realize that uh, that kind of line has various points that are interconnected they are connected to each other to form that line and the polygon a polygon has vertices and it is a closed figure for example these districts if you check if their geometry is very okay there shouldn't be any polygon that is not closed because all polygons must be closed must be closed figures so a polygon consists of vertices and with which those vertices each vertex has a particular coordinate so they can be various points but connected together to form a closed figure so that is what we call uh, vector data and now when we go to raster data raster data is another kind of data that can be presented in this kind of software so raster data this is where we have images images of which sort uh, they can be photographs that you can take with your full smartphone with a camera or even photographs that can be taken with an aircraft or satellite imagery that can be downloaded maybe landsat images others so uh, basically that is uh, what we call raster data so let me just show you an illustration 
Last ada tadi sistem kehidupan virus di animage that is for Kampara. So if you zoom in and out, in and out, you can be able to see that scale changes and um, kind of coordinate social change. So the raster data, it the this is where you find the animage is divided into pixels. So if you zoom in, in, you can be able to see that. Huh? You see what we are seeing? Those are various pixels. Whereby each pixel. You see, these are various pixels. Each pixel has a certain digital number. So, for like an eight, an eight-bit image, those digital numbers can range from zero to two five five. So, in this case, you will find that a raster image is more of a matrix of discrete series that represent features in the real world. So. Those pixels can be joined, you see? These pixels can be joined to form that kind of an image or this kind of feature that you see here. Hmm? I can say this is a tree, but this, yeah, this is a tree. But you're going to realize that it, it is formed by various cells which are merged together to form that feature. So that is what we call a matrix of discrete cells that represent a feature in the real world. So basically, that is, those are the kind of data sets that can be that you can deal with in this kind of software. Um, so in the next videos, we are going to be looking at how we can be able to deal with these kind of data sets. How can we, how can we deal with vector data? How can we manipulate vector data? Yeah, so that you get to know how to use it so this video let me hope it helps you as far as understanding the basics of QGIS so basically that is that is it for today Thank, thanks for watching and hit that red button and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can be able to get updates each and every time we upload our videos thank you